The most important part to shooting movies is choosing which camera to buy. So we recommend buying DSLRs over camcorders, um, because basically because of the interchangeable lenses and the sensor sizes. On my camera, the Sony A57, you see that it has an APS-C type sensor. Uh, basically, the bigger the sensor, the more light it lets in. Um, it determines the framing of the shot. It's better for low light. And uh, basically, the bigger a sensor, the better. So this is a quality test between the Canon Vixia, which is a camcorder, and my uh, uh, Sony A57. And as you can see in this shot, the Sony A57 does outperform the Canon Vixia by a large margin. Lenses are the most important component to DSLRs because they allow you to change things like aperture and f-stop um, through like the different lenses that they make for each camera. Um, there's we have a variety of lenses here: zoom lenses, prime lenses, just normal lenses that can uh, be both zoom and wide. Um, versus on a camcorder, you're stuck to the one stock lens they give you. Lenses allow you to manipulate the photo and be more creative with your filmmaking. Um, some DSLRs we recommend are the Sony A57, the Canon T3i, and the Nikon D3200. All right, so first we're going to show you guys a really boring shot, and then we're going to show you how to make it good. So yeah, shot one is pretty boring just because it's just one shot as we see Cullen just standing there. Um, but shot two is better because of all the cuts and camera movement that keep the viewer's eyes engaged in the action in the scene. It is also important to make use of low angle, high angle, close up, and long distance shots. Take the time to learn how to use your DSLR and make sure you are on manual focus, you are using the manual settings in your controls to manipulate aperture and shutter speed all at the same time, as well as learning how to use ISO. These will control the brightness and darkness of the shot. Now we're going to talk about overexposed footage and how shooting in cloudy conditions is way better than shooting on a sunny day. Here's a shot of Cullen when it's sunny, and you can see in the background that there's a lot of overexposed areas in the grass. Here's the same shot when it's cloudy, and you can see that it gives the appearance of a higher dynamic range, with no overexposed areas. Let's take a look at important camera equipment, such as the use of tripods to make sure that you do not have shaky footage. Here we can see Colin doing a panning shot, and the final result is quite spectacular. No one likes shaky handheld footage, like this. Looks crappy. So it is important that you use a video stapler, such as the Flycam Nano DSLR, which will balance out the weight of the camera, and you will have silky smooth shots like so. One of the most important things to good video is good audio, so make sure you get an external mic like we have. Hi. How you doing? Good. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. More tutorials coming soon throughout the week. Leave a comment below telling us what you want us to do, what tutorials you want to see, uh, and we'll try to teach you to the best of our knowledge. So yeah, see you guys later.